If you've seen any of my previous episodes, you know I have a soft spot for denim. However, one of my personal favorites is distressed denim. There's just something so grunge, edgy, yet chic about it. You know, like that bling top that is just impossible to style without looking like you're ready for a New Year's party, like the one I'm wearing right now. Well, just wear it with a pair of super distressed denims, and it will instantly make it look cooler. It'll dress it down. So today, I've decided to take my old pair of jeans and give them that much-needed edge with some distress. As much as we all love new purchases, it's our worn-in, broken-in pieces that hold a soft spot in our hearts wardrobes. The style of jeans I'm making today is the frayed hem jeans. All you need for this is your old jeans. Of course, a pair of scissors, tweezer, ruler, and a pen to make marks on where the cut is going to be. Start by marking how long you want the frayed fringes to be. You're going to keep the fringes really thin because that will make the look more messier and more distressed. Now, start by cutting the hem of your jeans in an upward direction. Go for thinner pieces as those look messier and with the distressed jeans, the messier the better. I think I'm doing a really good job, guys. Okay, so now that we have shredded the jeans, it is time to thread them. Pull that painful tweezer out and using it, pull out the threads along the sides. Using the tweezer, pull out the frayed edges that the fringes made. And once you're done, throw your jeans into the wash and they will come out ready. These are my new frayed jeans. Well, almost new. You like them? With each subsequent wash, it'll get more and more distressed. So go have fun with your old pair and enjoy this new DIY. See you guys. Been? Today I want to talk to you about jeans. Ripped, skinny, tight, high-waisted, bell bottoms and everything that you can think of. Jeans is other comfortable kuch nahi hai. It's cheap, it's stylish and it makes a great statement. One of my favorite trends is high-waisted jeans. It's the perfect retro look and it's back in style that makes me super happy. <laughs> right now what you can see me in is a casual yet fun outfit option. A printed crop shirt with jeans. But there's so much more you can do with it. What if I take these simple well-fitted denims and put some really nice embroidery on it? Crazy, na? You can either go with minimal embroidery on your jeans like I have over here or you could go for something much louder. It's entirely up to you. Here I have this cropped shirt with ripped jeans and a pair of white sneakers. If you can carry off this look, you can run for president. <laughs> I wasn't really sure about this at first, but then I laid my eyes on supermodel Bella Hadid just casually sporting super ripped jeans like a total rock star. And that's when I knew it. I gotta get myself one of those. Check her out guys. Don't want to do jeans? Slip on a pin of form on top of your pink shirt. It's edgy and super cute. Let me show you how. I like pinaform dresses from childhood. And I try to bring these babies out at least once a month. 
I wear them to parties, movies, dates. They always help you keep it fun and sexy at the same time. Okay guys, I think it's finally time to let go of this top and try something else. I want to show you that wearing denims doesn't always need to be funky business. Ever seen denims paired with a dress? That looks super cute and it's a great idea for summer. Let me show you how to do that. A close second to the piniform dress are the denim jackets. They're also a hot favourite of mine and can be worn anytime with so many outfits and in so many ways. You can always go for a plain one or with some bling in it. It's entirely up to you and your personality. So here it is guys. A nice flowy summer dress with a denim jacket to go with. Just put on a pair of shades, some nice flats and you're set for the day. For more fashion tips, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon.